In front of me we have uh, a scourge of Oklahoma, you might call it. Uh, this is Cerisia lespediza. You can see last year's growth. Um, it's a perennial legume, uh, which typically we're uh, all for uh, legumes in our pasture, but this one's particularly invasive and can drive out other plants. Uh, we have native lespedizas uh, that are great to have, but this particular one, Cerisia lespediza, uh, we've spent a lot of time and money trying to control it uh, as it's moved through eastern Oklahoma to central Oklahoma, and uh, we haven't had a lot of luck. Um, cattle will graze it when it's uh, very young. Um, after it gets pretty woody, they don't visit it near as much. Um, and it can uh, have some uh, little pathic properties and, and drive out other native vegetation. So it's one we want to keep an eye on and, and, and look out for. Um, while we're here, if we'd like to hit on some trees, uh, above me here, uh, I'm thankful for its shade right now, is a blackjack oak. Uh, blackjack oak has a bell-shaped leaf. Um, I don't know if there's any science to it, but I think ticks love it. <laughs> Every time I'm in the blackjack, I get ticks. Um, but it's it's one of our uh, main cross timber species of oak. Uh, it's fairly fire tolerant, uh, and uh, it's good for uh, mass production for wildlife. And again, it's not a, a big forage producer for cattle by any means, but it does offer some shade. And it's an important part uh, of our cross timbers ecosystem.